Okay, here's the headline. The U.S. is reviewing security of connected trucks. Okay, yeah, I'll be honest. When I first read that, my simple brain was thinking connected trucks, tractors, trailers, dollies, all that stuff. And then I thought about it for a minute and I said, oh, they got to be talking about something else. And what they're talking about is connected trucks, electronically connected wireless technology. And the U.S. wants to start reviewing how much of a security risk is that to the United States, individual companies, individual drivers. And what they're specifically looking at is materials, hardware, software that's built in other countries, specifically China, Iran, Russia, and North Korea. I'm sure that the majority of the wireless connected technology that's in this truck is probably made in China. It just makes sense. They make the cheapest stuff and that's what they get it from. And they're looking into that to see if it's a security problem. And I think they would have thought about this before they even started all this, but they didn't, of course. And now they want to look at it. And the thing they're struggling with the most right now is actually defining what a connected truck is. Uh, I don't know. I guess you have to have some long drawn out definition of what something is before you start putting regulations on it. I guess there's going to be a couple pages on what a connected truck is, uh, wireless technology, all that kind of stuff. And then they got to come up with a definition. That's probably going to take them a year or two just to come up with a definition. Then they'll get around to making regulations about it. Now, there is a problem with these things. And I've noticed it. And it, I didn't notice it when I first saw it working. But I noticed it when I read this article. Yeah, that could be a problem. Now, I've had times when I've left the terminal, got outside of Dallas less than an hour, and had to turn around and come back for mechanical reasons, dispatch reasons, not going to you know, have a meat man reason, stuff like that. And he said, just turn around and come back. And when I did, he pulled up my information on this truck, on the computer, on the handheld stuff, the GPS stuff. And he could pull up my exact route, how many miles I went, and where I turned around and came back and got my final mileage. So he knew what to pay me for that day since it's not in the template on the runs. So that could, I mean, if he can do that, it can be hacked. Or especially if it's a Chinese uh, product, they could probably just pull it up when they want to and figure out mileages and routes. And, and if they could do that on these, I guess the same kind of stuff in military vehicles or government vehicles and it's in your car too but they're only talking about commercial vehicles right now another thing they're looking at that could have the possibility of this problem is the driver facing cameras which we have and most people most companies are getting those too it's coming and that could be a problem and like i said they're just looking at commercial trucks right now commercial vehicles right now but here's the problem with it being in your cars they're talking about, at least I heard in Texas, they're talking about not just using your road use tax and your gas tax on how much you pay for gasoline. They say that's not enough revenue for them. They're going to start, if your vehicle's equipped, and what they could do with your phone too, is they can see how many miles you drive in a month or a week or whatever it's going to be. Where you go, how long you're there. You know, what's your routine like? They, but the thing is that they're going to use it for is to tax you on mileage that you're driving, not just how much gas you use. They put it together. So that's a problem. And if you think that's a problem, you should let your representatives know that you don't want that allowed. And they should come up with a bill to to not let that happen on your cars because that's you know, it's just another tax. You're already paying the tax on the gas. Anyway, so that's a problem. They're looking, at, looking into this. Tell me what you think. I'm sure there's a lot of things that I haven't even thought about that could mean connected vehicles, connected trucks could be. Tell me what you think. Tell me how you think it's going to go, how long it's going to take to get at what happened, and what would the ultimate problems be with it. Stick around and watch some more of my videos. I appreciate that. If you do, 
subscribe to the channel if you have not. I appreciate that too. It helps out a lot. And if you have subscribed, again, I thank you very much. And we'll see you later.